There's a story in the Bible about God providing manna from heaven, food to sustain the Israelites while they were wandering in the wilderness. But it never said specifically what it was. What was this manna from heaven? When I asked that question, I had no idea how much my life was about to change. The miracle that Jesus was reported to have done was turning water into wine at a wedding. The story goes that they ran out of wine and Jesus put a portion of the manna into the water that they boiled as tea. He told the waiters to pass it out as wine. So I call up Deepak and I said, Deepak, I got to talk to you. I go, I just found some stuff in the Bible that's not making any sense. I think I found some psychedelics in there. I think there's meditation. Like, wh what do you think? And he's quiet on the phone. And I was like, Deepak, are you there? And he's like, yeah. He said, uh, where'd, you, where'd you find this exactly? Like, send me what you're talking to me about. What do you want to do, Deepak? What should we do about this? You want to write something up? And Deepak was like, this is too important. He's like, why don't we have a conversation about this? Could part of the religious experience have to do with plant sacraments? In Deepak's tradition, the mystery plant Soma was used to bring people to communion with God. Could have been that the hymns of the Rig Veda were actually sung to this plant which had no seeds, that uh, had no flowers, that was really mushrooms. There's First of all, that's a possibility. Yep. Secondly, why does our brain have receptors to these things? Well, because we are part of the same nature. You know, we're not separate from nature. Science is based on a subject-object split on the separation that is artificial, me and the universe, when in fact I'm also part of the universe. Oh. So the same electrical storms that create thunder and lightning in the sky create synaptic firings in my brain, which creates thought. Mm -hmm. We are part of a wholeness. And what the religious experience is to experience that wholeness. What is enlightenment but being one with the source? So whilst they gave people what I wouldn't even call altered state of consciousness, I wouldn't call them hallucinations. They help people break out of the everyday hallucination of separation and to the reality of truth. And whether they did it through wine or mana or soma, who cares? It doesn't even make any sense. How could these ancient plants that connect you to God be somehow taken out? Could these plants be the ancient wisdom that we need for our modern problems? What we call today everyday reality, which we take for normal, okay? Mm -hmm. There's war, there's terrorism, there's global warming, there's social injustice. 50% of the world lives on less than $2 a day. The environment is totally screwed up. And we say this is normal. Yeah. It's psychotic, mm -hmm. right? And it's psychotic because we have created it. What do you think it would take to break through that boundary at this point. I mean, here we are in this 21st Let's have a century. Party. Let's have a party. We'll bring everybody down to Peru then, and enlighten yeah, them. Yeah, and put some in the pot and let's drink it. Amen. Amen. My conversation with Deepak made it clear that there were other experiences that I needed to have. I needed to go speak to some of the religious leaders and top scholars of our time about whether meditation was once part of religion. When it comes to religious leaders, there's no one more high profile than Joel Osteen. I wanted to ask Joel what he thought the mana from heaven was. I always thought that it was like bread. Mushroom or something? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah. I'd, I'd like it if it was mushroom. It could sustain them and. Yeah. Wow. I did not expect that. Bible descriptions from Moses and Jesus sound more like mushrooms than bread. In fact, every other miracle that Jesus is reported to have done was after they drank the mushroom tea. St. Mark's Basilica in Venice, right. Italy. Here's all the disciples. Here's Jesus and giant oh, mushrooms yeah, behind cool. him. Oh, very cool, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> got Jesus over here with these giant mushrooms behind him. Can't it? Jesus with the giant mushrooms behind him. <laughs>